morning, guys. So, Friday's uh, workout warm up is going to be 50 mountain climbers into 10 knee pushaways, into 10 air squats, into 10 scat push ups. Uh, let me show you what we're going to do here with that, okay? So, the 50 mountain climbers, um, like always, down, knees in, 50. Once we get done with those 50, we're going to do 10 knee pushaways. So basically, we're just going to get in that squat and we're just going to push our knee away, push our knee away, push our knee away. We're going to do 10 total, okay? Um, into 10 air squats, feet shoulder width apart, hands out in front, set my hips back and down, knees track down over my feet, and back up. Let's get nice and low, maintaining that neutral spine, mid line stabilization, and back up, down, and back up. We're gonna do 10 of those guys into 10 scap push ups. Those are the push ups where we get in that plank position and we let our shoulder blades come together, then we push them apart. Let them come together, then we push apart. We do 10 of those. Elbows don't bend. Okay, from there, we're going to go into our barbell portion of the warm up. The workout has barbells in it, but you could also use dumbbells, kettlebells, sandbags or whatever you need in it, okay? The, I'm gonna show it to you with a barbell. If you don't have any equipment at home, you can use a PVC pipe or a broomstick for the rest, rest of these warm-ups. I'm gonna show it to you with a barbell. So grab my barbell here. Okay, we're gonna do eight muscle cleans. So from here, all I'm going to do is pick the bar up, muscle clean, and around. Starting below the knee, up, muscle clean around. I'm not using any momentum to bring the barbell up. Muscling it up. So from the side, it'll look something like this. Start below the knees, comes up past the knee, hips come forward, legs extend, shrug my shoulders, elbows around, and through. Notice how slow I'm doing it. Again, it's a muscle clean. We're just doing it to one, has a little bit of mobility, two, muscle memory, and three, to build strength. We're gonna do eight of those. Once we're done with those eight, we're gonna leave that barbell in the front rack position, and we're gonna do eight front squats. Feet shoulder width apart, set my hips back and down, driving up with my shoulders and chest leading the way, right? So as I go from the side here, set my hips back and down, and then I'm coming right back up. Couple things you want to avoid in this is squatting, but see how I'm coming forward here. That weight's at way above my midline. I want to make sure that barbell or that wet weight stays in my center of gravity or center of mass. Okay. After we're done with those eight front squats, we're going to do five strict presses. Feet are going to be back under my hips. Pull my chin back out of the way, press that barbell up over my head, punch my head through the window, and then back down, lowering it the same way back to my shoulders. Strict press, no lower bodies used at all. From the side, everything's nice and tight, squeeze my glutes, my legs are locked out, chin back, press, up overhead. Strict press. Into five push press. So, keeping my feet in the same position, same movement, now I can use my lower body. So I'm gonna dip, when I dip down, pull my chin back out of the way, explode up and press that weight over my head. Back down, back down, from the front. Okay, five of those. So the warm up, with the barbell, or you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Same idea, okay? Uh, sandbag, if you're at home. Again, if you have no equipment at home and you're gonna be doing the body weight version of the workout today, you could do it with a PVC pipe, um, a broomstick, or maybe you have just a little bit of weight, you know, some soda cans or uh, 
not soda cans, uh, vegetable cans, and you simulate the movements. Um, just to warm up, just get yourself stretched up, okay? So that's the warm up today. We're gonna go to the wad next. Hey guys, all right. So today's wad for Friday, we're gonna do an EMOM, but two parts to it, okay? So the EMOM is going to be from zero to seven minutes, every minute on the minute, we are going to do eight front squats and eight bent over rows. Okay, so it'll look something like this. I'm gonna show it to you with dumbbells. I showed you the warm up with barbell. I'm gonna show it to you in dumbbells in case you're using dumbbells at home. So, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. Great. So, eight front squats. So, I'm gonna clean these dumbbells up into that front rack right position. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna do my eight front squats. Once I'm done with those eight front squats, I'm gonna bend over, keeping that midline tight, neutral spine, and do eight bent over rows. Got the rest of that minute to rest. Okay, so what type of weight am I supposed to be using during this workout? Well, it's gonna be a moderate weight. And it's gonna be a weight that more than likely the front squats will be a little bit more difficult than the bent over row. But regardless, you'll use the same weight for both exercises, okay? So moderate weight for the front squat and the bent over row. Eight and eight, every minute on the minute for seven minutes. Then we're going to do from minute eight through 14, you're going to do eight push press, eight jump over the bar if you're using a barbell or dumbbell if you're using dumbbells. So I'm going to show it to you again with the dumbbells, um, the eight push presses into eight jump over the dumbbell. So let me get my dumbbells up and I'm going to do the push press. So dip, drive, dip, drive, dip, drive. Get done with that eighth one. Put my dumbbells down and two, three, eight jumps over the dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell. Okay, a couple things to consider when you're doing this with the barbell or dumbbell, especially on that push press, dip, drive, press that weight overhead. All right, in that order. Uh, you don't want to start pressing that weight early and not being able to use your legs. You're going to use the same weight for the push press through. So in reality, you're going to use the same weight for your front squat, your bent over row, and your push press. So you won't have time to change the weight on the bar. All right. Um, probably for most of the guys that may be using a barbell, you're probably gonna be in that 135 range. Women, 95 pound range, or a little bit less. All right, so just use that as a rule of thumb. It should be difficult, but not impossible. All right. The body weight version of this workout is gonna be a 14 minute EMOM also. We're going to do eight air squats followed by eight seesaw planks. Now, we've never done seesaw planks before. Um, um, at least I've never programmed it before. I looked at them, I said, okay, this is a nice little, nice little exercise to build some stability in our shoulders. So the air squats are very simple. Feet shoulder width apart. You put your hands out ahead of you, hands behind your head, over your head, or out in front. You're gonna do the eight air squats. Okay, you get done with those eight air squats. Again, making sure feet shoulder width apart, midline stable, hands out, down below parallel, and back up. If you're having trouble getting down below parallel, I want you to sit to an object. Maybe you sit to a ball. I got a little uh, bungee ball, whatever you call it, here. And I'm going to use that as, a, as an object to sit to. 
uh, I can see this is set up where I'm just, just that parallel and back up, okay? Let's really start focusing on getting down below parallel. This is not gonna get us anywhere. I'd rather you sit to a chair and stand back up tall and start developing that full range of motion if you're not using any weight with this, okay? Into the seesaw plank. So let me show you the seesaw plank. So basically you're gonna need a plank, all right? You're gonna be down on your forearms, all right? I'm gonna go up onto my toes and all I'm gonna do is go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Okay, for eight of those. All right, um, the more you go forward, the more you go back, the more difficult it becomes, okay? Eight of those. So for the first seven minutes, eight um, air squats, eight seesaw planks. Then for the second seven minutes of the workout, you're gonna do eight hand release push-ups into eight high knee tucks or jump over the object. So hand release push-up. I'll show you that from the front here. We're gonna go down, start in our plank position, go down to the ground. We're gonna release our hands from the floor, put them back and press ourselves up. Um, you can do them as like a regular push up, or you can do it from your knees. I'll show you from my knees. Okay, or <clears throat> I could do a negative down where I'm just lowering myself down, one, two, three, four, five, and release, and then maybe knees and pop myself up the plank, wherever I'm at. Eight and eight. Then we're gonna do eight knee tucks. So all that is is gonna be, I'm just gonna jump and tuck my knees. Jump and tuck my knees. So try to jump up. Or if I have an object I can jump over safely in my house, uh, I'll use a <coughs> dumbbell just for uh, purposes. Of demonstration I'm just going to jump over that object and then jump back okay so jumping knee tucks or jumping over some object that you feel comfortable jumping over if you don't feel comfortable jumping over an object just do the knee tucks okay eat and eight all right great have fun with this workout uh, it should be a burner okay okay guys Woo! That was some Iman. Good job on that. Um, our post-workout, we're going to do some shoulder work. So we're going to do front raises, lateral raises, and a bent over row. Okay, the front raises and the lateral raises, you're going to use a light weight. Uh, you can even use, just use your hands. I'm going to demonstrate with just my hands. Front raise. And we're going to do 10 to 12 reps. Okay, from the side. Again, nice and stable. Core tucked in and tight. And then the lateral raise to the sides. Okay. Uh, if, I, if I don't have any weights at home, um, I can grab, again, grab um, soup cans or something like that. It does not need to be heavy, slow and controlled. Um, where these are little tiny muscles, it's about building um, some stabilizer muscles and building some stamina in them. Um, you know, I would not suggest using anything more than 10 pounds, um, unless you're a really strong guy. Um, I'd rather you go slower and back down with lighter weight than, you know, putting a pair of 50 pounders on there and bouncing it and doing this. This is not what I'm looking for. Slow, controlled, tight, bringing your arms up, bring them back down. 10 to 12 reps, 10 to 12 reps. And then the bent over row, same idea. Here you could probably go a little bit heavier, find something heavier to, to do, all right? Because it's a, just a different position. And again, we're working on that back part of our shoulder. Okay, so that's the post work on Friday. Have fun, I'll see you guys Saturday morning, as usual, doing a Zoom class at 8.30. Log in, see it, have fun. Okay, bye.